Hey, what's up? Welcome everybody. In today's video, we'll discuss about how we can display a browser notification, also known as web push notification. So here is an example. Whenever new message comes, browser will display us a notification. So let's see how we can do that. Let's go to code. So here I have simple dashboard view component and here I've included a browser notification bar component. So everything code related to web push notification is inside browser notification bar dot view. So here in template, we have just simple card with two button allow and not allow. All right. So whenever someone clicks on the allow notification, we will init the notification. So here uh, we do not require, we actually do not require this bar to enable notification. Browser will automatically ask in case of Chrome. So uh, whenever this component loads, we will init the, com init the notification and browser will ask us allow notification. So we can do it uh, without using any third party packages. In my case, I'm using push.js which is really cool and it also supports all the browser so you can use a web uh, api notification api I suppose there is some documentation that you can use to uh, integrate this feature but uh, i'm installing this push.js it's really cool just uh, install this and it will support all browser and it gives us really cool methods that you can uh, that is a lot easier and one-liner so let's go to the code again and whenever this component loads uh, we can just enable the notification so how do we do that let's go and here uh, let me just comment this code for a moment and so make sure to import this push torches over here and we'll ask whenever component is mounted that's it so just this one liner will ask for permission so now if we reload the page okay so it asks us like this but it won't work in case of uh, firefox so here in firefox if i reload the page uh, it said that you need so here is a error notification permission only requested from user generated event handler so uh, it should be triggered by user not automatically you cannot uh, run automatically uh, the notification allow screen you can show that in firefox so to do that we need some sort of a bar when user clicks allow then we can trigger the notification so that will work for all cases all right so in order to do that uh, i'm displaying this bar uh, this property is controlling the visibility of this card and by default it is false and whenever component is mounted this push start permission has will check browser has permission to show the notification or not so if it doesn't have permission then we'll show the bar then it will be true and whenever user clicks on init allow notification then we'll trigger the init notification which will just request the permission uh, display the uh, uh, browser generated allow screen pop up and when user hits ok in that pop up then the visibility will be false then there is no point of displaying this card so this is the idea all right so let's uh, see this in action okay so here we are now let's hit allow so it will trigger the browser pop up and here if we allow that it will disappear there we go and now we can receive notification so let's check if we can receive notification or not let me go to some other new tab and i will send the notification from background so i have uh, i can send notification there is another app there we go so we can get the notification so let's check this functionality in another browser firefox okay so here let's do allow as well it will ask us allow notification works fine let's go to some another window and let's send the message from backend let's send message there we go so we get message so by the way i am just triggering that uh, message on on new message so which is the part of chat dot view so on new message i'm triggering this show notification 
and the show notification part got this um, uh, this code so document dot visibility state if it is just checking uh, whether user is in current tab or not so if that is in same tab then we will not display the notification no point of displaying that otherwise just we are doing push start create and the spot is new message and whatever new message coming from backend will display and it will automatically time out after four seconds and when click will focus the window to the if it is in another tab it will just take the user to that current tab so just this part is displaying message I'm just in doing this inside try catch if something went wrong it won't block the code execution okay so that's it uh, so hope you learned something out of this video so i'll see you in another video bye